Hi everyone, I'm Chris from Simply Classic. I'm up here working in my sewing room today, so excuse my, my hat and my attire, but um, I'm working on finishing up a custom order. And one of the things I always struggle with is how to finish ends on straps. I always wanna make it look as neat as possible. Um, and I'm working with some faux uh, leather today from Bodio. And I think that a lot of times we work with these faux products because people um, maybe don't want to spend, you know, the hundreds of dollars that it costs to use real leather. And so they're looking, they're looking for more economical ways, um, maybe to have purses, nice looking purses. Um, so, you know, there's obviously several different ways to finish your straps and I did just a little sample here. I'm going to show you how to, I, what I did on here. Um, but here's what the end result looks like. I'm pretty excited about it. See the back of it? So let me show you what I did. So you figure there's a lot of different ways to finish straps. You can buy the fancy hardware to put on the strap and um, you know, like this to put on the strap. And obviously that's a great option. It's probably the best option as far as how it looks and how high end it is. Or you could put some, some kind of edge finish on the edge of the strap, put your hardware on, fold it over and just sew and just leave your edges raw, which is okay. Um, obviously even with the, with the, um, coat edge coat, I mean, there's still a raw edge there period, or you could take and you could fold, fold it over and fold it over again and then stitch that. So, Personally, I don't really like the look of that because you're going from, this is a four inch piece that I folded together in the middle and folded again. So this is essentially four times three, 12 layers of vinyl that you're trying to go through. And you're going from this thick, thick piece to this thinner piece. And so I don't really like that either. Although that's nice because you can't see any kind of raw edge. So. I've been, like I said, playing around and trying to figure out what to do here. And um, I'm gonna move the camera down so I can show you what I did and what supplies you're gonna need. Okay, let me move you over. Okay, so you're going to need, obviously, you know, your strap, your strap connector like normal. You're gonna need some kind of cutting tool. I need, I use my awl. You're going to need a little assistance with that. Small ruler. Um, you're going to, if you want, you can go ahead and edge coat the little bit of edge that you are going to see. Okay, so the, and a pair of scissors. So the first thing I did was I took my strap and I just cut, go about, um, that's probably about an inch and a half up. Let's see what I did. Yeah, probably about an inch up. Go about an inch up, and you're just going to snip the strap just right through the stitching that you did on each side, and you want to get that even. Okay, so I'm just going right through that stitching. Then you're going to cut up, and you're going to cut off the stitching from the end of the strap. Okay, so you're gonna go like that. And you do the same thing on this side. Okay, cut that like that. Now at this point, you might want to um, maybe burn your, your threads if you're using a nylon thread just to kind of secure them in. Then you've got two tongues here. So I'm gonna cut whatever I want my back side to be, I'm gonna cut that tongue off. Uh, 
Okay, so now I have one tongue for the upper part. And then on the bottom part, I don't have a tongue and I just have everything else cut away. Now this is when you're gonna to wanna to put a little bit of edge coat on or, or not, whatever you prefer. So I'm just gonna dip this in here. And this is actually a leather dye. And I'm just gonna put it on my ends. just to kind of get it kind of sort of looking. And the reason why I'm using this is because I don't have any edge coat this color. Edge coat would be definitely the best option here. Okay. Wipe that off. Okay. So now we have it edge coated so that it blends in a little better. So now what you're gonna do is you're gonna measure two, between two and two and a quarter inches from the edge. So I'm just gonna put my ruler on here and two and a quarter inches from the edge. And I'm going to use my cutting tool and I'm going to cut between my stitches only. Get all the stuff out of the way. Okay. So I'm just going to, make sure you can see this, I'm just going to cut between my stitches. Don't cut your stitches, just right between. Now I'm not using a cutting mat underneath because I'm not going all the way through. I'm just going through my top two layers of vinyl. So you're probably gonna have to do it a couple times and do it from each side Okay, so that's what you have. And you can see that vinyl coming through underneath. I'm just gonna kind of shore this up a little bit. Okay, so you see I did not cut my stitches. I only cut through the vinyl. Now we're going to take our hardware and stick our hardware on. And this is when you're going to use your awl or some kind of tool, um, maybe a chopstick or something. And you're going to put your tongue through this little slit that you just made. Now this takes a little bit of finagling. And you might want to have to do these separately or you could do them together, whatever works for you. But I'm just, and, and the other thing I have done is I did take and just slightly angle this so that I could get it in just a little bit easier. Okay, so take this, and we're going to stick that in. And because it is vinyl it is a little okay I got my top one in not my bottom so let me do these one at a time so I'm going to stick my bottom one in first and then I'll take the top one stick it in And you can see it takes a little finagling, but once you get them going, then you should be able to push them in pretty good. And you wanna push them as far as you can, because you want, essentially you want this raw edge right here to go all the way to the slit. So you see I have, still have a little bit ways to go here. And I can tell you that this all makes all the difference with this. 
because even non-sticky vinyl is naturally a little sticky. You know, it doesn't slide real well on itself. And so, um, just don't poke through to the other side. Okay. So I've got it in there now. Okay. And just try to make sure your vinyl's flat down here. Which that's just sticking it all in and kind of spreading it out a little bit. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to stitch from, from my stitch line to my stitch line. I'm just going to go this way and then go back. And then I'm going to stitch a line about where my tongue starts and go all the way up. And I'm going to back stitch at the top and back stitch at the bottom to secure it in. So I'm going to start here. A little bit. Turn it around. Go in this direction. Okay. So that's what we have so far, and that's from the front, and that's from the back, and now I'm just going to stitch up here. So now I'm just going to burn my little ends with my lighter, which I don't have right here. But you would burn your ends. And then from the front, this is your, what you see. And then from the back, that's what you see. So you do see still a little bit of raw edge here, but not near what you see if you don't do that when it's just straight across. It's a, it's a lot neater. It's actually a lot less bulky. Now you could certainly put um, a rivet in here to secure that. You know, you can either put it up in this section or you could put it down here, whatever's, whatever's easiest, you know, either up here or down here. But anyway, I like that. I think that looks really nice and um, just a different way to do it and another alternative to get a little bit neater finish. So go out there, get inspired, and happy sewing.